Hello everybody and thanks for tuning in to Random Bites of a Sweet Life. In today's video I'm participating in a challenge. It's the Recycled Home Decor Challenge hosted by Measure and Mix and Sakai M. Links to their channels and the playlist participants will be in the description box. So for this, did I use paper, cans, plastic, or glass? And the answer is paper. So if you'd like to see what I created, please keep watching. I started out by mixing a paste, so I'm doing paper mache. I got two cups of flour. I mixed the flour with equal parts water, so two cups of water. And then I whisked that together, making sure there were no lumps. And this does create the paste. And then I got my mold. I'm using my kids' little light-up turtle for the shape that I want to make. I'm just covering it with the plastic to protect it. And then I'll go ahead and get started. I started by adding the strips to the paste. And then just coat them all down and smooth it off, removing any excess. And then just smooth that right across the mold. And I'll keep doing this. I add I added about three layers. Two layers will do just fine and it dries much quicker. Um, so I just went ahead and continued that process and wiped away any excess. I made two of these by removing one and then starting the other, and then I made a flat piece using two rolls of the paper. And I set these up in front of a fan because I definitely wanted them dry by the next morning. And this is how they look the next day. Everything was completely dry. This is the inside. Everything's nice and dry. And I'm just showing here how I'm going to go ahead and glue these two pieces together to form the shape that I want. And I'm using my hot glue gun to do that. And here I'm just gluing a little piece that came apart, just pushing that back together. And proceeding on with the rest of it. And then I'm just gonna speed this up because I'm just continuing to glue. And I'm making some adjustments to make sure everything's lined up the way I want. And that's about it. So this is the very last little bit that I'm just going to glue this top part together. But everything else is pretty much lined up the way I want it. Just adding a bit of glue here. And then sealing this up. 
And then I need to get rid of this excess um, paper at the top, so I'm just gonna cut that off. I'm just gonna go ahead and make that as straight of a line as possible. Going all the way around. So now I'm adding this extra piece. This is gonna be on the bottom, so I'm just forcing it in so it can keep somewhat of a shape so it'll be easier for me to glue once it reaches the bottom. And I just want it to be pretty flat so it can stand up. This is um, the project that I'm going for is to mimic pottery. So I can put artificial plants in this and it'll it's supposed to look like it's a piece of pottery when it's all done. So that's how it's looking there. I'm just gonna glue that in and smooth everything out. And this is how it looked with all the gluing and trimming complete. And I have to say that it is really strong and sturdy. My final plan is to spray paint this, but to cover over all the newspaper markings and give it a solid base, I'm covering everything with this black acrylic paint. I let this dry overnight and the next morning I painted it with this metallic silver. And I tried to put a lot of spray paint because I wanted the paint to kind of run a little bit as this is showing here. I don't know if I got that result but that's kind of what I was going for. So this is how it's looking as it's starting to dry. And to give it some weight I'm just adding these rocks to the bottom. And for now, since I'm only adding two flowers to it, I'm using these leftover strips that I cut from the paper mache, and I'm stuffing that in to fill in the space. And here I'm just arranging the flowers within the paper strips and making sure they're standing up straight. These stems were really long and I had to bend them a few times so it's making them a little harder to position. This is the final result. Again, this is just two flowers in here. I'm sure I'll switch this out as time goes on and fill it in even more. But to start out with, I thought this was nice because I already have flowers that match this up right now. So. This is what the final result looks like. And as long as you have a good mold, you can use paper mache to make pretty much anything. This is the first thing I've made. I did a paper mache project in elementary school way back in the day. So this is really the first thing that I've really made. If anybody's done any paper mache projects, please leave a comment below so I can take a look. I'd love to see it. And if this has inspired you to create any projects like this, please leave a comment below as well. I'd love to hear from you.
If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. If you are subscribed, thank you so much for your continued support. And don't forget to check the description box for the channel links for Measure and Mix and Sakaya M and also the playlist. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.